China's new sixth generation fighter has just taken the flight to the United States, and the battle for sixth generation dominance has begun. It won't be an easy one for the U.S. in any way. China's fighter is simply too much of an equal. The question now is, could that be a coincidence, or could China's spies or spy balloons have managed to get a peek into America's closed-door meetings? It wouldn't be the first time either. China in the early 2000s reportedly stole sensitive U.S. weapons data, including the data of the F-35. And one glance at China's FC-31 prototype next to the F-35 demonstrator is all the proof you need. They're practically twins. The result for China was a fifth-generation J-20 that's currently the third most powerful fighter in the world. And now China plans to go all the way to the top with its next fighter, its sixth-generation fighter. China's military aviation industry has been releasing concept art for a sixth-generation fighter. And although the Chinese sixth-generation fighter program is a secret one, these concept designs are detailed, in numbers, and from sources reputable enough to give them credibility. On January 31, 2023, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or AVIC, posted a video featuring CGI concept art of a notional sixth-generation stealth fighter. The twin-engine jet fighters portrayed had low-reflective diamond-shaped wings like Northrop Grumman's promising YF-23 Black Widow demonstrator fighter, a blended wing body configuration, and no tail. Another video shared by AVIC on Weibo on February 14th reveals a tailless stealth-optimized airframe undergoing testing in the FL-3 high-speed wind tunnel. These two instances, while being the most recent, are far from being the only pictorial evidence of the makeup of China's future fighter. Traveling back in time a bit to January 18th, a photo of a tailless fighter on a computer monitor, apparently at the Shanghai-based China Aeronautical Radio Electronic Research Institute, circulated on Weibo. The aircraft on the monitor seemingly corresponds to a mysterious tailless demonstrator or mock-up spotted in a satellite photo of the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation factory in October 2021. That's quite significant, because Chengdu Aircraft Corporation manufactures China's J-20 stealth fighter. And like the J-20, the sixth-generation fighter is expected to emphasize stealthy airframes, but with the bonus of greater range and increased payload capacity which are critical capabilities should an increasingly likely war between the U.S. and China eventually break out, as the U.S. in the West and China in the East are two countries located at opposite sides of the world. In this war, like every war, fighter jets that can travel the longest distances will play a critical role in determining the victor. And so somewhere in the middle of the battlefield, thousands of feet up in the sky, the sixth-generation fighters of both countries would eventually face off. Chinese versus American 6th Gen Fighters Compared to each other, the 6th generation fighters from China and the U.S. are broadly similar. This was made clear in 2022 when U.S. Air Combat Commander General Mark Kelly revealed that Beijing is already on track to producing a 6th generation fighter and their 6th generation fighter concept appeared similar to the American idea. For this reason, General Kelly reiterated the need for the U.S. Air Force to produce and field the sixth-generation, next-generation air dominance fighter, or NGAD fighter, by 2030 and at least a month before the competition, as China, already with all the information it could need, is probably moving at a similarly quick pace as the U.S., if not faster. And this concern goes beyond the sixth-generation manned fighter alone. Like the U.S., China's sixth-generation program consists of a family of systems such as drones, sensors, communications architecture, and weapons, all led by the manned fighter, which is tailless, like its Chinese equivalent. Consequently, both American and Chinese fighters would rely on computer-assisted fly-by-wire systems to manipulate the flaps in the wings for maneuvering and compensate for reduced stability inherent to tailless aircraft. China, however, according to an article in China's Global Times, for more stability might employ additional maneuvering mechanisms, such as split brake flaps and thrust vectoring engines. China has devoted efforts to developing and testing indigenous thrust vector control engines on single-engine J-10 and twin-engine J-20 fighters, though it doesn't appear to be a standardized feature yet in its domestically built warplanes. It is a standardized feature in the U.S., though, as can be seen in the fifth-generation F-22 Raptor and the F-35B. In terms of stealth, the U.S. also takes the lead and has been there longer than the word stealth was introduced into aviation. 
These advancements and edges that the U.S. has over the competition are only some of what will likely set the competition's sixth-generation programs inferior to America's sixth-generation NGAD. The NGAD is the United States sixth-generation program out of which the next-generation American fighter jet will be born. Or you can call it China's biggest obstacle to air dominance. Combined with other systems being developed in the program, the fighter in this program is designed to ensure air superiority for the U.S., even in the most challenging operational environments, whilst also having multi-role capabilities. To achieve this, the NGAD fighter will wield a long line of advancements, particularly three key ones. Number 3. Stealth Stealth is an advancement that has been here only one generation of fighters ago, but it's clearly one that's here to stay. According to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the NGAD fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape and having no traditional vertical stabilizers. It is the first fighter in history to be unveiled with such a design. This is because the design is revolutionary. Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the B-2 spirit. Active flow control uses computer brains on board to constantly adjust the flow around the aircraft to keep it airborne, similar to how birds fly. The result of this on an aircraft is top-level stealth, although it does come at a not-so-wallet-friendly cost. This to an extent justifies why the B-2 costs $2 billion, and why Congress has budgeted over $10 billion for the NGAD in less than a decade. For even more improved stealth, the NGAD fighter will likely carry all of its fuel and weapons internally. For this, the fighter will have to be huge. Over 70 foot long huge. With its lavish internal space, the fighter can afford to be packed with the latest, most advanced sensors to come out of American borders. Number 2. Advanced Sensors The NGAD fighter's immediate surroundings will be miles wide, as it would be capable of spotting targets, friendlies, and points of interest from forever away. This capability enables the fighter to double as a surveillance, reconnaissance, and target acquisition aircraft. The sensors that make this possible come with maximum connectivity, and thus the ability to share its data with every other member of the fleet, whether sixth generation or not keeping every member of the U.S. fleet abreast of relevant information in real time. To keep the aircraft sensor's accuracy at the max, the U.S. would do away with radars mounted on the aircraft for electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. This results in increased sensor sensitivity as well as network adaptability. It also aids with communication across the fleet and ultimately enables remote control. As a result, the NGAD fighter is designed to be optionally manned, depending on the requirements of the mission. Number 1. Open Architecture Laser weapons that can take out targets on the ground, in the air, on the seas, and even in space. A mix of high-performance guns, missiles, $6 billion AETP engines capable of subsonic, transonic, and supersonic flight across a 1,100-mile operational range. Loyal wingmen top-of-the-line electronic warfare countermeasures, avionics, and communications are only some of what to expect on the NGAD fighter. But despite this advanced tech, decades of history have taught the U.S. that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it is, especially with near-peer adversaries becoming more near-peer by the day. As a result, the NGAD fighter will come with an open architecture that enables the fighter to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter constantly adapts to new challenges of the battlefield introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. Simply put, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded in the 2030s. For now, it's at the stage where a flying demonstrator exists, but is hidden from the public like the celebrity that it is. Hopefully, it's also hidden from China as the imitation game gets more imitating. It's maybe one reason why despite rival Russia also having a sixth generation program, China seems to be the US's main focus for the reasons discussed in this video. Now all the world can do is wait to see how this all plays out as the sixth generation fighters are introduced. Will they be as advanced as they are on paper? Will the countries know which one is theirs if they somehow get mixed up? And will you kindly subscribe to this channel? We'll appreciate it if you do. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up too, will you? Thanks for watching.